Wisdom Teachings from Archangel Michael, January 2023, by Rana Vazane, Sacred Scribe. The Many Facets of Ascension. Beloved Masters, we will endeavor to give you more information regarding the Ascension process. It is important that you understand that your physical vessel was encoded for the return into the higher vibrational, more rarefied realms of light from the inception of your earthly embodiment experiences. Also, as humanity evolves, growing in wisdom and becoming more aware of the science and the intricacies of ascension, there have been many adjustments to the process over the past several hundred years. Some initial ascension procedures have been discarded and other more advanced requirements have been added. In the past, ascension was possible for just a select few. Only those who came to earth to be examples and way showers and who were spiritually advanced were allowed into the inner sanctums of the mystery schools. The secret doctrine was only given to those who were considered to be the strongest, most dedicated disciples. The lessons, tests, and challenges were strenuous and many perished during the process or did not attain their goal for many lifetimes. That has now changed, for time is running out for the ascension of the earth and humanity into the next higher levels of awareness. Many divine dispensations and much assistance is being offered to those who are striving to meet the challenges and tests of ascension. The collective conscious of humanity is striving to acknowledge and overcome the extreme duality that permeates the earth. Each and every person at some level is fighting a battle to attain self-awareness which must include embracing both the light and the shadow side of self, while endeavoring to return to an accepted range of duality and polarity. Each of you must recognize and claim your shadow side, your demons within, so that they too may embrace the light of transformation. Human suffering is the result of rigid thinking, a sense of superiority and judgment of others, which leads to separation rather than unity and tolerance for opposing viewpoints. Can you accept the premise that your negative thought forms are also seeking release? They are rising to the surface of your consciousness, seeking illumination and truth, just as you are. You must take responsibility for what you create moment to moment, Negative thoughts and actions result in distorted creations, discontent, and chaos. We have explained that each soul before incarnating into a physical vessel is given an allotment of adamantine particles for personal use throughout their lifetime. If a person's allotment is used with loving intention for the greatest good, then the flow of full-spectrum creator light will continue throughout his her lifetime. However, when a person becomes unloving, negative, and embittered, the access to the Sacred Heart and the adamantine particles of God Light are no longer available. Therefore, he, she can only access the half-spectrum light or the primal life force substance which can be re-qualified and used in a positive or negative way. Remember, adamantine particles of Creator Light can only be activated and used with loving intention for the highest good of all. A young child's heart center is open wide, and the God particles flow freely. However, how long the heart center stays open depends on the love and nurturing they receive from their parents and those around them. Many dear souls have placed an etheric shield of protection over their heart center so that the pain and suffering will not affect them so drastically, thereby closing the door to their sacred inner sanctum where their God particles of creation are stored. Along with the allotment of adamantine particles that were placed in each person's sacred heart center, a smaller allotment was also placed within each of the major chakra centers of the physical body. The largest portion was placed at the root chakra, which the ancients called the Kundalini, the coiled serpent of fire, or the sacred fire of ascension. There is an accelerated planetary initiation now in process, and it is affecting everything on the earth plane, especially sentient beings. There is much fear and trepidation as the collective consciousness of humanity undergoes the dramatic changes that occur at the closing of one age and the beginning of a more advanced era, especially when much of what was considered to be of vast importance on the earthly plane slowly disappears. So-called Armageddon is part of the third, fourth dimensional reality. However, if your energy signature is of a higher, more balanced frequency, not many of the disruptive energies of change will affect you personally. There is also a great sense of anticipation, 
and excitement for those who have learned to stay centered within the Sacred Heart. There are many probable futures before each of you, and it is important that you stay centered within the now moment. You may be led to change course several times as you slowly move into the fluidity of the higher dimensions. However, if you allow your sacred heart and your sacred self to light the way, you will never be led astray. The timelines of the future lead to higher, more stable ground, away from the broad spectrum of duality and the illusion of separation. You are in the process of integrating the many fragments of self you have created while in physical embodiment. This is in preparation for the merge with the many facets of your soul family, both on the earth and within the many dimensions throughout the solar system and galaxy and eventually throughout the universe. There must be a reunification with self and a return to your center of power which resides within your sacred heart. Once you make the connection with your higher self and begin the process of reuniting with all the facets of your God self, your white fire seed Adam, the urge to reunite becomes a magnetic force and cannot be denied. Your oversoul, which is composed of creator essence, is your conscious guide and companion while in the physical vessel. For a very long time, the soul has been only a faint whisper for most people, where the ego desire personality was very strong and held a dominant position within. The initiation process begins when you slowly make way for the soul to assume its proper place as director of your life. This eventually allows the higher self to take charge of your journey back into the realms of light. Gradually, the narrow silver cord that is your lifeline to the Creator begins to widen until eventually it is the width of the crown of your head. That is when you tap into the flow of divine I Am Presence and the Creator particles of love, life, begin to flow through and from you via the infinity sign of life. This wondrous, luminescent, sacred fire gives you access to your treasures stored in heaven, which is an unlimited source of creator light as long as it is unconditional, pure love, light, and used for the greatest good. The binary sequencing infinity breathing exercise, whereby the breath goes through the medulla oblongata, the ascension chakra at the base of the skull, connects you to the soul of the earth and to the multiple realms of light where many facets of the self reside until eventually you join your divine I Am Presence or God Self. The river of life has a multitude of tributaries throughout the universe. Many of you, as you tap into your sacred mind and learn to stay centered within the sacred heart, are becoming conduits for adamantine particles of creator consciousness. Note. This exercise and illustrations can be found in Archangel Michael's manual, Reference and Revelations, Glossary and Illustrations, along with many other Ascension techniques, www.starquestmastery.com. First, you must attune the pineal and pituitary glands to your higher self, which begins the process of dissolving the membranes of light that guard your sacred mind. Your sacred mind makes the connection with your sacred heart, and once activated adamantine particles of God consciousness begin to flow from the sacred heart to the sacred mind. The process of illumination accelerates. The creator light flows through the crown chakra and enters the pineal gland, promoting cellular awareness as it activates the pituitary and hypothalamus glands and courses through the brain structure into your sacred mind. It then flows down into the sacred heart where the particles of creator light are further activated through your loving intention. These activated God particles of light are now ready to assist you in creating anything you desire as long as your intention is for the highest good of all. The voice of your higher self becomes clearer and the nudging of your sacred heart called your intuition becomes stronger. The question has been asked, what is the difference between intuition and inspiration? Intuition means to understand a concept or certain information immediately without conscious reasoning. Your higher self speaks to you via your intuition and eventually clears the pathway to your God self and the wisdom stored within the cosmic records. Your intuition also gives you signals via a feeling of something being right or your truth or a feeling of dread or discomfort when something is wrong or not in alignment with the highest frequencies of light. Inspiration means the process or quality of being inspired, such as when a sudden, timely, or unusual idea, sometimes about something that you were not aware of before, pops into your mind. Channeling or messages from your angelic guides and teachers, 
often leads to inspired concepts of awareness or things beyond the realm of your knowing. Intuition is processed through the mind first and then through the heart, whereas inspiration is validated through the heart first and then through the reasoning process of the mind. Your perception of time and space is rapidly changing as you learn to focus more on the moment instead of vacillating between the past and the future with only moments of concentrated awareness of the present. Feelings of separation, isolation, and judgment are being replaced by a sense of unity consciousness which will eventually lead to a sense of oneness with all creation. The earth and humanity are in the process of becoming harmonious or balanced higher third and fourth dimensional beings. There is no greater gift than to once again connect with the full spectrum light of the Creator so that you may magnetize the greatest amount of adamantine particles of light to you. After taking what you personally need, you must then share this gift by radiating the remaining love light out into the world. Once the river of life begins to course through your physical body and out into the world, you will be well on your way to self-mastery and your personal world will forever be changed. Remember, we have explained to you in the past, the third and fourth dimensions are not bad or evil. The divine blueprint frequency patterns became distorted and inharmonious because the pendulum of light and shadow swung too far off-center over these many past ages. Ascension requires each person to heal the past, or in other words, to clear the major discordant vibrational patterns within, so their energetic signature is once more tuned to at least the accepted levels of duality within the sub-levels of the third and fourth dimensions. The earthly souls who are awakening and who have consciously begun the journey of ascension are in the process of becoming higher fourth dimensional beings. However, the consciousness of many advanced souls, those we call starseeds, are in the process of tapping into the many various fifth dimensional levels of awareness. You will retain your bodies of flesh, however your health will improve and your vitality and sense of well-being will increase. The earth will still be solid and duality and polarity will still be present. However, the spectrum of light and shadow will return to its original divine blueprint. As the higher frequency patterns of light permeate the earth, the mass consciousness belief structure will gradually return to more harmonious frequency patterns so that all dimensional levels of earthly consciousness may begin to incorporate the higher, more refined truths. Those who continue their old, negative, out-of-balance thought patterns will experience the effect of their choices much more quickly, sometimes almost instantly. Believe it or not, there were some advantages in the withdrawal of a major portion of your manifestation abilities in the past. We have told you that the red, esoteric, or physical plane color of the first ray of divine will and power to create was mostly withdrawn after the earth and humanity sank into the density of the third lower fourth dimensional environment. This was done so that humanity would not destroy itself during the ages of extreme duality. That period is swiftly coming to a close as humanity gradually awakens and regains the ability to ingest more spiritual light. Remember, originally you were brought forth from the sacred heart core of the Supreme Creator as a white fire seed atom, from which comes the saying, made in the image and likeness of God. The light of the Supreme Creator contains energy, intelligence, and everything necessary to create worlds without end and to fulfill the highest order. However, you must step out of your comfort zone and reclaim your birthright. Follow the path of light, beloveds. The time of the grand reunion is at hand. You are loved most profoundly. I am Archangel Mikael. Love Note from Rana Beloved friends, as another year slips into the past, it's important that we reflect on what has taken place, the challenges we have met and overcome, the gains we have made, and the obstacles we must surmount in the future. As the boundaries of our reality become more defined and we allow much of what we thought was important to slowly fade into the past, we must become wiser and more discerning in our choices. When we cling to people or things which no longer fit into our reality, the sense of being out of harmony becomes more pronounced. By stating that will be done, we gave our higher selves permission to increase our intuitive abilities, which include knowing almost instantly when we have made right or wrong choices. By doing so, we can quickly rectify any actions that veer us off the straight and narrow path of ascension. 
we as faithful followers of light must be ever vigilant in our thoughts and actions to be sure that we are always in alignment with our divine mission. Beloved Michael has said that we as starseed, vanguard sentinels of light, have the ability to overcome or neutralize the negative thought forms of at least 100,000 people who are still functioning within the restraints of the third, fourth dimensional illusion. 2023 will be a year of endings and new beginnings. Our mission is to help to build a firm foundation for the future of all humanity. Your inner strength and wisdom will serve you well as you stay centered within your sacred heart, as you become a master of self and a conveyor of verified particles of God consciousness. Shine your light, dear friends. And as our circles of influence radiate further and further out into the world, one day the circles of light will overlap, and our combined illumination will burst into pure God light and surround the world. I consider each and every one of you to be my sole companion on the journey. And I look forward to our grand reunion. Eternal love and angel blessings. Rana.